Hi. Today I'm going to read you the first chapter in a book called Grounded by Kate Cleese. Chapter 1. Grounded in Digginsville. I'm alive today because I was grounded. Maybe that sounds odd to you, but it's true. I was grounded by mother for going fishing at Dock Lake without her permission. That's the only reason I wasn't in daddy's plane when it crashed and killed him, my brother, and my little sister. I was home sulking on the front porch, mad that I couldn't go flying with the others. Mother was inside ironing in the kitchen and listening to Swap Line. That was the name of a radio program. For five minutes every hour on the hour, folks would call into the radio station and try to swap something they had for something somebody else had. My mother loved Swap Line. Nothing entertained her more than hearing people describe the junk they had in their basements and attics. For a woman who kept her house neat as a pin, listening to Swap Line was like listening to people confess their sins. Mother kept the kitchen radio turned on all day long so she wouldn't miss it. Even from the front porch, I could hear her through the screen door talking to the radio while she ironed. Bud Mosley, you've been trying to swap that cracked aquarium for three weeks, Mother said, howling with delight. My mother knew everyone who called into Swap Line. She even knew their junk. In bigger cities, folks had news to listen to every hour. We had Swap Line. Carolyn, she called to me from the kitchen, come and listen to Swap Line. It's a good one. I don't want to listen, I hollered from the porch. Truth was, I did want to listen. I was as hooked on swap line as anyone. But I suppose on that Sunday afternoon in late October, I wanted to pout more. I was kicking leaves in the yard when the state trooper's car pulled up in front of our house. It was Jimmy Chuck Walters. He's the one who told us about the engine failing in Daddy's plane. He told us in the kitchen, when he finished, Mother didn't cry. She just closed the front door, turned off the iron, and called Mama, my grandmother, who lived next door. Right away, they started planning the funeral. One service or three? Granite gravestone or marble? A reception at church or at the house? There wasn't much help in making the funeral arrangements. My brain couldn't take in all the information. It was like an old tree you can't fully see by just standing in front of it. You have to step around it slowly to understand how big it really is. The world had changed, that much I knew. But I confess the first thing I thought after I heard about the crash was, I'd swap Bud Mosley a cracked aquarium for this. My second thought was, if I'm the only kid left in my family, I bet mother wouldn't ground me as much anymore. I but I wouldn't get grounded again for the rest of my life. Again, this was chapter one of Grounded, a book by Kate Cleese. It's available in our media center. See you soon.